Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import contacts inside sendmails.io using a CSV file. So for that, you need to head over to your list inside which you want to import the contact. So here, I'm going to choose this list over here. And then you need to take that CSV file that you want to import inside sendmails.io. But there's one quick thing that I want to show you over here which is if you go to the subscribers, the columns that we have over here as of now is email, first name and last name. I just want to quickly open one of the contacts which we have recently imported inside sendmails.io and here you can see the columns that we have is only email, first name and last name. That means if you are creating a spreadsheet, it should only contain these three columns, first name, last name and email but it is not limited to just these columns if you want to add more columns inside sendmails.io you can absolutely do that by heading over to manage list field and let's say you want to have more columns like age gender country or industry then you can do that by adding new fields for example i want to add a new uh, column known as age then a new column as gender i'll add one more as country and another one as industry so as you can see we've just added a few more columns over here which we can always collect from our subscribers and if we want to import a contact inside sendmails.io then we'll have to ensure that all these columns that which we have just added over here and if it is required if we have enabled the required option over here then it is important to have these columns in that spreadsheet that we are importing inside our contact if it is not required then you can avoid having those columns but if you have made it required then it is compulsory to have the column as country inside our csv file so i'm just going to give you a quick example of csv file that i've already created over here all right so here as you can see this is the email this is the first name this is the last name and as we've just added a few more columns over here you can see we've added these columns name over here age gender industry and country and age as you can see it is exactly equal to what we have put in here age so you need to keep in mind that whenever you're adding a new column then it should always be equal to what you have put in over here so age is equal to this one gender country and industry are equal to other three columns over here now what i'm going to do is i will download this csv file over here and go back to sendmails.io and then head over to subscribers and then click on import button now inside the import button i need to choose the csv file that i've just imported so I'm just going to drag and drop the CSV file over here or you can just click on choose the file and select the file that we have just downloaded over here which is this one. After we do that we need to click on import and wait for a while until it import all the contacts. So as you can see it has imported all the contacts over here and now if I go back to my view all subscribers I'll be able to see all the subscribers that we have just added over here. So you can see all these subscribers are added inside sendmails.io which you can see over here. And if I open any of these contacts, I'll be able to see the other columns as well, which is age, gender, male, uh, gender, country, in industry, as you can see over here. So yeah, that's it for today. If you have any question about importing contacts in bulk using CSV file, drop it down in the comment below. I'll be happy to help you and I'll see you in the next one.